so it is way past time for me to wash my F-150. I mean like way past time. I can't even remember the last time I washed it. It's absolutely disgusting, but one thing to remember is I work out of this truck, so you know it's going to get pretty dirty and have crap on the floor. Got dust all over the dash. Actually, the back seat's even worse. Well, maybe not worse, but still pretty bad. So, so today, instead of heading down to Walmart or the auto supply store or even ordering anything off of Amazon, I am going to use all products from Dollar Tree to wash the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and head to Dollar Tree right now. I'm back from Dollar Tree and I think I got everything I need. So I bought 12 items, so it was $12 plus tax. And the only other things I'll need, of course, is a water hose, which I have, and a vacuum for the inside of the truck. But I'll probably just go by the car wash and use their vacuum. So of course I've got a bucket, two cans of tire foam, one can of foaming wheel cleaner, car wash, protectant, I bought a chamois to dry off the vehicle, and also got this microfiber cloth, I may try it on something, I'm not really sure if or how I'll use it yet. Got a really soft bristle brush for the interior, I'm going to finish everything off with an air freshener, I've got a microfiber wash mitt, and just a couple cotton towels. For the most part, everything I bought was an off-brand. The only thing that is a real name brand is the Armor All Protectant and maybe this. I believe I've seen these at like Walmart. But everything else is the driver's choice, which I'm guessing is a Dollar Tree brand. I'm not sure about this chamois. But yes, yeah, it says Greenbrier International in the back, so it's a Dollar Tree brand also. So really, other than the air freshener and the Armor All, everything is Dollar Tree brand. So my first order of business before I get to actually washing the vehicle is to get the interior cleaned out a little bit. And most of the stuff in the back, a lot of it is work-related material, so I'm just going to kind of straighten this up. By the way, I use one of these, which I think I bought this from, uh, I don't know where it was, but it was cheap, like $2 to clean the windshield. It, it's a microfiber cloth, but I ordered this off of QVC, I believe. This thing works so much better. And it's got straps where you can hold it on your hand. You might want to look at picking one of these up to get all that haze off of your windshield. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try out this foaming wheel cleaner. I went ahead and sprayed off any loose brake dust on the wheel and I'm going to see how this works. It says wait 45 to 60 seconds, wipe off product and rinse with a heavy stream of water. So I'm gonna give it about a minute and see what it does. So it's been about a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and see how easily the brake dust comes off. So now it says to rinse off the product. But you can still see there's, there's a fair amount of brake dust on here. So let's check the back wheel where the brake dust isn't as bad. So like I thought, the back wheels are coming much cleaner than the front wheels simply because there's not as much brake dust on here to clean off. So my final verdict on the foaming wheel cleaner is it does pretty good. I don't have a name brand to compare it to because I don't really use any type of wheel cleaner. I just use elbow grease. But as an overall, this didn't do all that bad. Next I'm going to try the Ultra Gel Wash and Wax. It says use 2 to 4 ounces in a bucket of water. And since the truck is pretty dirty, I'm going to definitely go with about 4 ounces, maybe a little more. It's really lacking that slick feeling that you get with the premium car washes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit more. I 
probably put about eight ounces of the car wash in here and it still doesn't really feel slick but let's go ahead and see how it performs So far I've got the roof and the windshield done, but look at the, the bucket. There's really hardly any suds left. So I'm not having a lot of confidence in this wash and wax. I'm gonna try to put a little more soap in here and hopefully that'll work. So we've been through about half a bottle of the Ultra Gel Wash and Wax. The issue is that we're having to refill the bucket again because it was empty. And we're having to put the mitt back into the bucket so much to try to get any suds that we're using way more water than you would normally use. We finished washing just the fender and there's almost no suds left. So we weren't even halfway through the washing and I started seeing a bunch of scratches on these black trim pieces between the front and back doors. I'm not sure if it's because of the cheap microfiber mitt or if it's because of the garbage car wash. So a word of advice before you decide to try some of this ultra gel wash and wax from Dollar Tree, I would advise against it. The only place this belongs is in the garbage. So I'm switching to something that I know is good and it's the Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. Look at the difference the Meguiar's makes in suds. All right, so we're done with the washing portion of the truck. And I want you to notice these trim pieces right here. There's a couple spots on them, but it's really not bad. So if you check out the passenger side where we use the Dollar Tree car wash, you can see it's all spotted up and it's left a residue on here so next I was trying out the chamois it basically smears everything and it leaves lint actually quite a bit of lint so the chamois belongs in the garbage with the car wash so next I'm going to try out the microfiber towel I went back over it with the chamois as you saw and it was leaving lint and smear and everything. So next I went over it with the microfiber towel and all the dirt that you see here, almost every bit of it came from the area where we use the Dollar Tree car wash. A lot of spots on this grill from the Dollar Tree car wash also. Next I'll be trying out the tire foam. We've got all four tires done with the tire foam. I'm still waiting to see how they're going to look and believe it or not just one of these cans which is eight ounces did all four tires so here's the first tire we did it looks pretty good maybe not quite as deep and dark of a shine as the more premium products but it doesn't look bad So after the tires completely dried, this is what they look like. Like we didn't even use anything on them at all. So I definitely am not real impressed with the tire foam. Now that I've got the outside looking pretty good, it's time to work on the inside. So to start, I'm gonna be using this brush to knock all of the dust off of the dash.
So next I've got the Armor All Protectant, which I know already that Armor All works pretty good. And I've got one of the cotton towels left to put it on. I've got the dash and the interior pretty well dusted. Since I used the cotton towel to apply the Armor All Protectant, it did leave a little lint. But what I did was, I used this brush and I just went over the areas that had some lint and it knocked it right off. So I'm done with the interior with the exception of vacuuming. And I'll probably go to the car wash tomorrow, vacuum the mats, vacuum the floor, and I might spray off the mats too. But as an overall, I think your truck came out pretty good considering most of the products that I was using. So finally, I'm going to pop in my Refresh Your Car new car scent air freshener so out of all the products that i used a couple of them are complete garbage a couple of them work pretty good and there's a couple things that i really like first and foremost this is garbage dollar tree should be ashamed for selling it now don't get me wrong i didn't expect much out of it but it's garbage so don't buy this it's trash the foaming wheel cleaner I think it works pretty decent. Again, I don't have a name brand to compare it to, but it did cut through the bulk of the brake dust on the front wheels. So I would probably buy this again. Armor All speaks for itself. It may not be the best protecting out there, but it works pretty good. The chamois leaves lint and smears. It's garbage. It belongs with the car wash. The microfiber cloth that I used instead of the chamois worked pretty good. I actually like it. I'm not going to keep it and wash it or anything like that, but I would probably buy this again. It really didn't have any lint or anything, so it was pretty nice. Not a whole lot to say about the two cotton towels. They're just typical cotton towels. They worked for what I needed them for. Probably the best value is to not get these at Dollar Tree. You'd be better off buying a bigger bulk pack of them somewhere. But again, they worked fine. I actually like this little brush. With these super soft bristles, it worked really good at getting some of the dust out of the dash. So I'll probably keep it for that, but I really like it. So the tire foam looked like it was working at first, but you saw how it looked after it dried. So this is garbage, just like the car wash and the chamois. The wash mitt is supposed to be microfiber and maybe it is, but it's not the best. I'm not sure if this is what's responsible for scratching my truck or if it's the car wash, I would be willing to bet the car wash was the problem, but just to not take any chances, I'm not gonna use this, I'm gonna throw it away too. And finally, the air freshener, I don't have a lot to say about it. Shouldn't be any problems unless it leaks or something like that, but smells good. Doesn't exactly smell like a new car, but it does have a pretty nice scent. So as much as I try to only use Dollar Tree products to wash my truck, I did end up having to use the Meguiar's car wash instead of the Dollar Tree car wash. Quite simply, I can't have it scratching up my truck. I did want to complete the video using the other products to give them a fair chance and see if they actually performed as well as the name brand products. So all in all, some of them did okay, some of them not so much, but at least now I'm gonna borrow a line from the Wolf Pit. I use them so you don't have to. So with that said, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.